the war in the DMV, Young Foot Soldier, Dre Servant. Last but not least, a rapper that goes by the name Yes Baby Joe has been incarcerated for robbery, man. And this story get crazy. Like, when I say this story get crazy, you would think these people wasn't rappers. You would think they was homeless the way they moving in the streets, bro. The stuff they doing right now is not no real nigga activities, man. And I'm about to run y'all through the paperwork, man. I'm about to run y'all through everything the feds got on these boys, all the accusations and everything that's going on, man. Look at him. He looking at the rapper like, oh, you got me. Yeah, they're like, look, 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 look at the cop. The cop look like, damn right, you fucking nigga. But now, nah, other than that, though, like, I ain't even gonna lie, his face... Like, you can tell by his face in this picture that he was locked up for some seriously dumb shit. Like, it, it's not really even serious. It's just seriously dumb. But it is serious, though. But when you think about it, it's some full-blown dumb shit. Currently at 1235, military hours, Metro Transit Police responded to a call. So pretty much what happened was Cooperator 1 was just walking down the street, man. He just walking. He see that Skino package pull up, that Q60. They pulled up in that new old blue Q60. They hopped out. He seen the passenger door open, door flung open. Who is it? Young foot soldier with the peasy. He hop out with the peasy on him. Cooperator. Because instantly he just started running. He see that peasy. He running. He ducking behind cars. He finally get to a bus. He hop on that bus. He throw his coat. He had it. He did not think Moose Knuckles would be this dangerous. But it get worse. He thought he got away. Throw the wall. Boy, they get the hawking edge on down. Swear the Q60 in front of it. They hop on the boat. I mean, I had on hop on the boat. Hop on the bus and ask the nigga, wear your coat. They got the peasies out. A woman screaming, we're all going to die. And then they pat his pockets after that and rob him. So they don't get the cell phone from the a victim, right? Pretty much, he takes his phone. You know, they're fleeing. They're getting back in the car. They're about to ride away. He like, man, I'm not going like that, but they're going too hard for me. So I already know what's in this dude here. I'm about to snitch on these niggas. Fuck that. They go too hard. They got peasies. They hawking down buses. I can't fuck with these niggas. He take his camera out and get the license plate. You know, how they... Man, you know they get the dump in there. They said eight to nine shots was fired at that bus, man. Everybody ducking, the driver panicking, all this shit for a coat, a coat. It's about to be summertime in a couple months, man, a coat. Bruh, that's just crazy, bruh. Imagine you just walking down the street and your life almost ends over a jacket. A skinny jacket, though. Them jackets be looking skinny, but they look sweet, though. <laughs> but I couldn't see it, man. This is just some next level skinny shit. You see him hopping out the car, swinging the door open. You see him walking up to a recorded metro door. Everything on the metro around the bus in the vicinity of the bus and the area of the bus is recorded. He walking past cameras doing this shit, man. For a coat. For a coat. For a moose knuckle. For a moose knuckle. That coat ain't that important, man. That 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 shit is like three, four, five felonies in one. Over a jacket, bro. You supposed to be a rapper. Can't you buy like four jackets, bro? You a rapper, bro. Does rap not pay you niggas for the 400,000 views y'all get? Because I'm confused. How you get 400,000 views and still out here trying to steal a moose knuckle jacket, man? I wouldn't steal a soda pop if I, I, I had 400,000 views, man. On one video, man. I wasn't still enough. Just, you know, because I don't think they discharged any firearms in the course of taking that jacket. But looking at the camera, they just start shooting. They're like, fuck it. We going to jail. Let's go to jail, jail. And update. He did what Young Threat was supposed to do. He got the up in that zone. Look at him. He on camera up in that zone, mo. At a whole bus full of people. Ain't that just crazy? That's just crazy, man. Then the crazy part. When they got caught, you know what they found out? That that vehicle was also used in a homicide. And some of them casings were also used and matched 
the homicide victim in the area, bro. This is not good. You you try to steal a coat. You see how God work? You try to take some my coat that they mother work hard for. He probably ain't even buy that coat. It's mother boy that coat. You try to take that coat, but you don't know that mother praying for her son every day. And the fact that she praying for her son, the strength of God, they got their ass back. And God must not play about that boy because they brought up an old murder. North Face Vest, where they do that at? He got cool with that North Face Vest, man. He put that North Face Vest on, and I guess an officer had arrested him before. And you guys got to understand, when them detectives arrest you and put you in that interrogation room, or they take you to jail, they don't forget what you look like. You think they forgot what you look like because they see so many people. Some of these niggas remember you, bro. And they remembered him. So they tied him to the string, and they're trying to say within the span of six days, they are responsible for every shooting, robbery, and jacking that occurred in those areas. It don't look good for them, bro. Every time you think somebody gets some wilder charges, bro, in the DMV, somebody else gets some wilder charges to take the cake. And honestly, I don't know how this is going to go for Young Foot Soldier. And I feel bad because Young Foot Soldier is the most asked for artist. Now, this is the crazy part. The same fit he used in the shooting was the same fit one of the dudes had on Instagram. That, that's just some idiotic. I'm, I'm, I'm move past, move past it. So they in the same car that he did in the robbery earlier. It's the same day. They got the same outfits on. And you know one of them niggas got on, bro? They done hit the bus and all that. He got on a moose knuckle that is identical to the one that was stolen off, bro, on a bus, bro. Why didn't y'all ditch the car? Why are y'all wearing the same outfits? We need to stop this shit, bro. This new generation don't think. Then all the older people be getting mad at me. Oh, man, you telling these young, nah, these youngers don't think. I'm trying to save them from going to jail. You see this? This was one of our most prominent, most asked for rappers. And he just went to jail. Young Threat, he just went to jail. Hank got caught with a switchy on. He went to jail. This is just crazy. These niggas are going to jail. So if y'all wondering how they got caught, they were attempting to recover the vehicle. As they were recovering the vehicle, they had heard shots. And after they heard shots, they immediately rushed to where the shots came from. And it was the three stooges running. They're uh, chasing them. The cops go freeze. That shit don't work. They kept running. And winded up still getting caught, man. They found the AR-15. They found a Glock with a switch. They found a duffel bag containing two more firearms. I don't know what that sound like to y'all, but that sound like to me that they're, they're making it known that they have enough charges for everybody, bro. And in my opinion... Like, bro, y'all couldn't have switched cars and just went in the house for a day or two days or a week. Y'all really had to do everything in the same day in the same car and think that shit was never going to catch up to you. Especially after hitting at a metro bus. A metro bus. Then it's like y'all doing robberies for jackets. I hope all them shootings and, and robberies wasn't for moose knuckle coats. Because if y'all had a plan to steal every moose knuckle in the city, man... World's dumbest criminals. There's so much shit y'all could have been doing that y'all still out here stealing moose knuckles, bro. It's crazy. Like, y'all could have hustled and got y'all a moose knuckle, bro. Then look at him. Bro getting locked up in a moose knuckle. I know he mad. He like, damn, I know I shouldn't have bought this coat from him for 500 Damn, man. And look, his drip don't match the moose knuckle with nothing. You know he stole that motherfucker. Knees dirty as shit. My boy been sliding in some more shit. That's how that shit be when you running from them peoples, though. You be sliding, getting all dirty, man. But most importantly, they learn their lesson, hopefully. And they can come back and focus on music, man. Because honestly, you don't have to do the streets and music, bro. You could do one or the other, bro. And it'll work just fine, bro. But once you start adding them both up, you a target, bro. Once you start hanging around the niggas and they doing dumb shit like, yeah, shoot at the bus, bro. You hang around the wrong people, you ain't gonna make it long. For real. And this is a case of people not having the right people on the team telling them to chill out. All it takes is one good friend, relative, OG, whatever you call a nigga, you feel me, to tell you chill out. You hear me? Chill. It ain't worth it. You doing anything now. That's all they had to say. But it's your boy, the one in the DMV, and I'm out.